Thank you, Steve. All right. It looks like we are live. How's it going, Steve? Great. I'm doing great. How about you? I am doing awesome here. Um, for anyone who's watching this um, now or a little bit later, we are just getting together today to share some of the um, marketing strategies that Steve has been using to get his results. Steve, I want you to be totally open and transparent about um, what you're going to share with everyone here today. We want our, our members to be able to kind of you know, get an idea of what you've been doing so that um, they can leverage your efforts and, um, you know, build upon uh, your results. So let's just start with how, how long have you been with the Internet Lifestyle Network at this point? Uh, now it's been, uh, I think, six, six whole weeks, a super long oh, time. six whole weeks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gosh, it's been, okay, so not too long. All right, so six weeks into it, um... What kind of results have you got right now? Uh, I've got uh, five members, one uh, one of which is a pro member. Okay. And I, had a, I had a couple more people sign up, but it just wasn't right for them. So. Okay. So you so you've had maybe seven or so people sign up, and and the majority are are staying in, and and they're happy. Are any of them um, getting results at this point themselves? I yeah. know it's only been six weeks for you, but <laughs> I, I had uh, one member actually uh, got a member underneath them as well. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. So, um, so you know, for anyone who's maybe just getting started, you you mentioned that you got a, a pro member, so you've got five members who are basically at apprentice level, and then one of them upgrade is is what this person did, right? Yeah, that's right. They they came in at the apprentice level and almost immediately moved up to the pro level, take okay. advantage of the uh, their additional income streams and a lot more training that you get. Um, it's just a lot more available to you at that level. Right. Um, did you speak with them about that? I mean, did you help with making that upgrade happen? or? Um, it's funny. A er, minute or two ago, you said, you know, I want you to be transparent about what you're doing, and and so that other people can leverage your how you're making this happen. And all I'm doing is leveraging what other people have done. I didn't invent anything. I just watched the videos and started applying, you know, what what I'm told to do in those videos. And that's how I've gotten the results. Um, and to be honest, I, I, I didn't speak with any of these people prior to them signing up, and I didn't speak with, uh, you know, the person that upgraded to Pro, uh, didn't talk to them about it, didn't tell them the value that's there. They saw it as they went through the funnel, and they saw it in the presentation, and they made the decision themselves. So from my <laughs> perspective, super easy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I love it. Okay, great. All right, so let's get into a little bit how how you were able to get these people who you've never spoken to still, which cracks me up. Um, <laughs> I've communicated uh, with them. I've I've sent them support and and thing, but I haven't talked on the phone or anything. Okay, okay. Well, maybe it's some maybe once they see this video, they'll be like, oh wow, he actually is a real guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so let's talk about how you were able to attract these people um, into your funnel, and you know that you were able to make an income from them, and and uh, you know from the training that you were talking about. Let's talk about how you actually went about doing that. So, you've got five five active members right now after six weeks, and how? Tell me, tell me how some of them came in. Just let's go there first. Uh, okay, most of them are through interaction on Facebook. Uh, I, I do a good amount of posting three to five times a day on Facebook, so I'm pretty active there, interacting with uh, the people that are on my page and just trying to get engagement there, trying to get people to to react to my posts or interact with my posts, so do a variety of different things. Um, you know, things that are on my mind about business or maybe something that I've learned recently, I'll put it on there, or just, you know, something something that I find interesting and I think that other people will find value, valuable. Uh, the My other uh, method 
I had uh, built up something of a, a list from doing solo ads in the past. So I took some of the, the, the scripts that are in the back office and used those to, um, to market to my existing list. And okay. that, was, that was pretty easy and pretty successful. Okay, so let's let's um, again we're going to be totally transparent here. How many how many of your members came from your email list? Because there's some people who are watching her saying, "Well, I don't have a list of people at this point." So let's we're going to reveal this. How many people came from that? Two. 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 Okay, so two. two out of the five came from your email list, and the other three came from from Facebook. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. and I I have to be honest. The, the the email list that I built is not good. It is <laughs> low. No, and 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 I say that because I, I I'm just barely learning how to build a list, and the things that you need to do to make sure that it's a good quality list and the people that come into that list are really connected with you. And the list that I have, there is no connection. And I built that list through solo ads, but it it you know. I was, it was my very first attempt, so it's just it's, it's a very low quality list, and it still produced some results, so I'm pretty happy about that. Awesome, okay. Um, hey, Steve, do you know how to do a, a share screen? I want to actually um, just show everyone, you know, what it was that people were seeing, because people, you know, they, they want to see, like, what page did you send them to? You know, what is it, for example, that got your... Uh, you know, you had a member come in and they automatically upgraded, um, and that's that's putting what now sixty five, sixty seven dollars in your pocket every month. I think is what it comes out to. So, show them yeah. what you actually. When you're saying that you're posting on Facebook, I want I want you to show them what links uh, people are seeing. So let's just have a look at your Facebook page. We'll show them like one of the examples of your posts, okay? And then I, let's click on that, that link. Okay, what you're gonna do? Hey, see, we're, yeah, that's cool. You don't have to know it all to be doing this stuff. <laughs> what you're going to do is on the, the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to see a yep. control panel. And you'll see a screen share button. It's green. Click on that. You're going to want to reveal, reveal your desktop. So we're going to have a look at uh, Steve's uh -oh. desktop, everyone. <laughs> Eject digitals. No, that's not it. That's for sure. Um, so it's going to be in the, the Google Hangout. Yeah, it's the little wrench thing, but now there's something on my screen. And you clicked on desktop. Um, hang on. Uh, camera, no. Sorry, control room, that one. It looks like I just lost it on my end, actually. I was going to screen share to show you. <laughs> You don't have to know technology to win at this. <laughs> yeah, this is living proof that I don't know technology that well. Uh, green, what is this? Screen share. Oh, there we go. Bingo. Hey, Steve, you'll be able to do um, a training, like a tutorial video on how to use Google Plus Hangouts. <laughs> this or, will be a great or how not to. to but or yeah. <laughs> well. And in all the transparency, we were having some fun here. Google has okay, so their layout, so you we. Share, uh, you want me to share my desktop? Go ahead and share your desktop. Yep. Oh my gosh, I wasn't prepared for this. I have no idea what's open there. That's okay. That's okay. We just need to head over to your Facebook page. What are you What are you seeing? Okay, so I can't see you now. That's okay. We can see your screen. <laughs> oh great! All right. <laughs> Hey, it's not too cluttered. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> yeah, well, that's you know, in Mac you've got 17 desktops or as many as you want, so that's. Yes, I know. Uh, luckily, I had one. All yes, right. I know. Uh, look at that gymnastics. All right. Why didn't that open? All right. Hang on. Just uh, let me do this. How many invoices can we get going? All right, Facebook, there we go. And then let's just pull this one out. All right, good. We're, yep, we're seeing Facebook. Good stuff. Yeah, look, see, there I'm talking to you. <laughs> I 
Okay, so we're looking at your Facebook page now. That was nerve-wracking. This is not a business page, right? No. Where okay. did it go? No, this is this is yeah, it's not a fan page. Right? It's just me. Okay, there it is again. It may be glitching a little bit just because we are using um, Google Hangout slows things down a little bit. Can be a little glitchy. Yeah, and as you can see, I have a ton of stuff open. I, I probably should shut all this down before we, before we did this, but that's okay. No worries. Let me just get this into a window of its own. That'll be easier. All right, great. So let's, so let's have a look at one of your um, recent posts. And are you just, I mean, are you just blasting people with, like, you know, join me, join me, or buy, buy from me, buy from me? Because, like, no. you know, you see that on Facebook, and um, I don't know about you, but that kind of irritates me when people do that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, didn't even like my own post. See, <laughs> you know, if I can get people to talk about my post, that's great, because then I know that they're, they're liking it and interacting with it. Mhm. Mm um, I don't know if I'm going too fast. If this is let's yeah, it. let's actually let's let's pull one and let's click on the image so we can kind of blow it up, and okay. that'll make it bigger where everyone can really get a good look at it. Well, this is my favorite one. <laughs> I saw this one this morning. This really grossed me out. <laughs> okay, there are snails crawling on this woman's face. <laughs> okay, so it's still really small, Steve. So just go ahead, read to us what the post says, because um, this is—I mean, there's a really great marketing tip here. I obviously a little cheap thing here. I got to see this post earlier, but um, go ahead and read what this says, so that uh, we can give both a marketing tip here, and we can also go into showing them how it is that you've got people joining you that don't even know you. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, a snail can have 25,000 teeth, and the reason I actually was reading a um, uh, a post of pointless facts or useless information or something like that. So that's where I got that line. Um, a snail can have 25,000 uh, teeth. What do snails have to do with personal development or online marketing, which are two things I focus on? Well, to find out the secret of snail teeth and internet marketing, you'll just have to read this article. Snail teeth, disclaimer, I'm, I'm not 100% sure this headline is accurate, have nothing to do with internet marketing, except to demonstrate how a headline and an eye-catching photo can draw people in. To learn more from the people that taught me, click now, and then my link. Um, but here's, here's one thing that I learned, is this, this portion up here is going to be above the picture. So... I, when I put a link, I put it at the end, so that in the post, um, that big enough now? Yep, we're fine, we're good. Mm -hmm. So in the post, you're not getting hammered with the link, mm -hmm. and the, you know, the more information, they've got to click on it, it forces people to interact with it to see the rest of it. Yeah. I mean, these are some great tips right here. So we've got that you're you're leaving the link below below the preview, basically. Um, you've also got something there that makes them want to click on that see more, <laughs> and you've also got an image that is making people go, "What the heck is that?" And the headline that also draws them in. So those those are four very key uh, marketing tips that you just shared right there. I appreciate that, Steve. It's good stuff. <laughs> Right, and then I don't I don't put links in everything. Right. Uh, th there happens to be one in that one. So let's right. let's have a look at that one. I know you've got some other value based um, posts on here, and if people want to have a closer look, they can obviously find you uh, by sure. just typing your name into Facebook and uh, and sending you a friend request or whatever. But let's click on that link so we can see, you know, like when when people are clicking on your links, what they're going to see why they're automatically joining without even having a conversation with you. Um, sure. And like the one guy who upgraded on his own without talking to you. So let's let's give him a look at that. All right, let me turn down my 
you want me to let it run? Go ahead and, and mm -hmm. mute your sound, or not mute your sound, but the, just pause the video when it pops up. Yeah, we're lagging. Do you want to make your first 20 hours there online? There you go. Okay. So this is one of this is obviously one of our websites that we're able to use, and you've got a, a link here that basically gives you credit for anyone who clicks on this page, um, even if they don't buy today, even if they don't buy necessarily next week or in two weeks. Um, if they buy at any point in the future, they're cookied to you, and um, and they they become your customer. Obviously, you know that. But um, yeah. for any of our new members, you know, I want to make sure that they understand this. And so they come to this page, and um, they watch this video, and and they just go from there. You really, there's no interaction from you at this point, right? Yeah, no, unless, I, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm happy to answer questions if people have them, uh, but uh, nobody has. Awesome. Good stuff. Well, hey, well, let's, you know, I feel like we've given kind of a, a pretty good look at, at what it is that you're doing, um, some of the things that are giving you results. What would be, I want to I want to finish with two main things here. What would be, if I was going to say, what's, what's the biggest um, advice that you could give new members um, when, they, when they're getting started with the Internet Lifestyle Network? Um, what would be your biggest tip for them that you could give them right now? Consistency. Am I on screen or are you just seeing my screen? No, if you want to take your screen share off, it'll come right back to you. Okay. I don't know how to... You just go click back on that screen share button that you clicked on before and it should uh, yeah, just... bring you back. And yeah, I think it'd be a great tutorial to show people how to use Google Hangouts. Um, you know, once you get to using them, they're they're pretty intuitive, but they change things up all the time on them, so they kind of switch things up on us today, and it's fun learning. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to get back. Oh, well. We'll look no at worries. this. No worries. No worries. <laughs> we can hear you loud and clear. So you were saying consistency. Um, do you want to elaborate on that? Yeah. Uh, consistency. The, you know, there's there's so much great training in the back office. Uh, you you can get overwhelmed. I've been there. I think everybody has been there at some point, overwhelmed with information. Uh, you know, the the basic system that, that you start with, with ILN, with the, the Facebook, start there and then just be consistent with that. Show up daily, do your daily actions, create a, a marketing schedule for yourself, and just just do that regularly. That's the best thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and I don't know about you, Steve, but I um, every once in a while, and we don't hear this too often because I, I believe that the message is is consistency. You know, um, but every once in a while, you know, we'll hear from people saying, "Well, I I went and I I did the training and I posted, but I got nothing." And um, and for me, you know, I go investigate. I like to check out, see what people are doing. It's like, well, you have to do more than just post one day or <laughs> post one time. <laughs> Yeah, people are watching, and I think that's the key: is that um, people are watching you. They're looking to see: Are you going to stick around? Is this just a fly-by-night thing, uh, or are you really taking this seriously? And some people will wait a few weeks. Some people will wait a few months. Some people will wait a year. And uh, th this has certainly been true for us, where we've had people come um, join us, you know, over a year after after putting this out there. So I definitely agree with you. Uh, that's a great, probably number one piece of advice: consistency. Um, let's go ahead and wrap it with this thought. You know, I, I'm I'm curious. You know, you're you're one of my members, and I would like to know what are you liking, what are you liking best so far about um, the Internet Lifestyle Network? Aside from my great sponsor. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the attitude and energy of the group. Uh, yeah, you're fantastic. It's wonderful to know that you are there. Uh, answer my questions. Help me out whenever I need some help. But the community itself, um, I, I can go to the community and get, you know, a whole lot of different perspectives on something. If if I'm trying to figure something out, um, like how to use Hangouts, um, <laughs> the uh, 
just just the community. It's it's very open, um, very giving. It's not it's not a oh I, I I've got mine and good luck getting yours. Uh, attitude in the community. Uh, the training, top notch. The information in the back office is just fantastic. Um, there's so much information there. I I haven't even had a chance to go through all of it, yet alone trying to uh, apply and implement it. So there's just a wealth of information back there. It's terrific. So community and uh, uh, education, training, education value, whatever you want to put that as. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff. All right, well, hey, everyone. Um, be sure to give Steve some love uh, wherever he's got this video posted and um, give him some, some thanks, some appreciation for what he shared today. And um, reach out to him, too, if you want him to interview you um, for the results that you're getting because, you know, it's great to get you your face out there um, in front of your members, in front of your prospective customers. One of the things that I especially love about what we do is that we get to be totally open and uh, transparent. And um, one of the visions of the Internet Lifestyle Network is that we will completely, and we are already doing this, we're turning the network marketing industry around completely. Um, and we're creating more transparency than there's ever been. We're creating um, more of the tools and the, the training resources that really are required for people to be able to have successful um, network marketing businesses. And, um, and so that's, that's one of the things for me, Steve, that I'm super excited about that um, I know our members are excited about. And so um, let's keep charging on. And I, I'm looking forward to doing an update interview with you in the future. Uh, we'll have to set what our goal is on that. And then, uh, you know, obviously we'll be working together to make sure you hit that goal. <laughs> All right. Sounds great. All right, everyone, we will see you on the next video. Be sure to subscribe to Steve's channel and uh, get friended with him and all that if you're not already, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, see you. Thanks, Christine. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye.